everybody. So this can crush you again with some. I wanted to show you how to some tips on how to get at places that are hard to oil or clean. Uh, other ways to go about it. Like Matt, this is something I picked up at Goodwill yesterday. It's a Fairfield reviewer. It's two ninety nine. Of course, one side has a screw, and you can open that up and get at the gear and oil it. The other side you can't. So. I uh, took some marble mystery oil, put it in a little uh, eye drop of type thing, went around the edge lightly, and then kind of wiggled it and worked it in. And then I just took my canned air and either blew it in or out, however you want to look at it. Hold a rag around it when you're doing that part. But, um, it, it, the air will work it into that seam because you can't get in there otherwise. And that that lubes that up. But in other places, like inside of here, there's these mirrors, and they're dirty, you know. But you're just trying to get the surface dust off. I use my eyeglass cleaner for my glasses. It's the same as Windex, I guess, would be, but it's, it's better. Eyeglass cleaner dries faster. It's cleaner. You can go in there with a lint-free... Uh, you've seen me, if you've watched my typewriter videos, you know, these uh, lint-free things that you can get at... Uh, the beauty supply store. But you go in there at your mirror, you got a few mirrors in there, and you know, be gentle, but you don't have to take them out. You can wipe them down, and uh, it's just a dry run, but you get a lot of that off of there. You know, it, it shows, it shows. I'll do that a little better when I'm monkeying around off the camera. I just wanted to show how to get at places when they're inconvenient. Even in taking that lens off, I put a little of my favorite glue, this E6000. I use it on everything. Just lightly at the corners and edge. Because that glue they used in the 70s or 60s, it just let go when I took it off of there. I suppose the paint peeled away. Yeah, the paint was probably still wet when they stuck it on. That caused a contact. And um, but there's a few other things I wanted to go over quick um, while I was at the Goodwill. I picked up this makeup case. The Samsonite, it's, I mean, it's as big as a toolbox. It had a mirror in it. It was attached inside under the handle. <coughs> this it's huge. But it fits the full-size 16 millimeter films perfectly. You take the mirror out of the top. You, you could leave it in there if you wanted to. But for four ninety nine, you don't have to go spending fifty bucks on some sixteen millimeter special case. This thing's already lined. It's got a pocket that snaps in and out. You can put your splicer tabs and things in. Works perfect. So what a find in turning it into a movie case. Plus, you get a mirror that you can use around the house. The other thing I wanted to show you about getting oil into places that's a little inconvenient. I'm working on a second Super 8 projector right now. But I was just using my Marvel Mystery Oil in there and breaking down that old grease. And I realized for moving up in arms at the tops like this, if you open that up and you just open it up, you're going to have a mess of gears. There's like five of them stacked up inside there. And, you know, if you got a good bulb, which this one doesn't. You wouldn't want to lay it down and be banging that around. But if you wanted to lube inside there, all you do is take out the screw, the topmost screw, keep hold the two sides together. Same on this side, you only got one. Hold the two sides together. Get your little eyedropper with your Marvel Mystery Oil. And you just squeeze it in there a little bit. Then you work the, work the gears. And you don't have to go in there and interrupt them. I mean, if, if you have a dead bulb and, and the ability to take that off and stuff, that's great. But if you don't have to, and you want to get lube in there and work it, that's the way to do it. Just get yourself an eyedropper and feed it in through that hole. That'll go right through. Make sure you got a cloth on hand to catch anything that drips off. So those have been just some tips. Uh, but this is a this is a great product. And if you've watched my typewriter videos, I'm sure you've seen these things in action. So, have a good night, everybody. Take care.